So welcome uh, to our class, uh, Games for Health and Introduction. Mm -hmm. It's been a pleasure uh, hearing these classes and chatting with you. In fact, I have learned a lot from you. And today we are almost done. We're left with next week's class just to show us your ideas. On, on what you think and then uh, I just wanted to point out that today's uh, topic is um, uh, Swazi Yolo Serious Game. It's an example of uh, applying serious games in public health. So next week 25th will be your turn to make presentations about your great ideas and for that I always look forward to it because uh, previous students have really wowed me and some students have felt that you know they should go ahead and try to find funding to develop their ideas so I'm looking forward to that. So uh, today we're going to do, uh, today's objective is one simple objective, uh, it's just to look at an application of a serious game in public health, in this case HIV. So you, you may ask yourself uh, the question why why, why do we have to look at this uh, in, in real time or just look at details of, of the game? You can just tell us about it. Well, my idea is that you've heard a lot from many people about CS game. I think this is an opportunity for you to actually see the game. So uh, it's my first time to present about the game, to talk about the game in, in great detail. Usually I've just showed a video clip of the game for less than 60 seconds and that was it but today I'm actually going to show you details of the game probably just be be the player in the game and follow the discussion uh, the narrative of the game and then watch as the player makes decision and watch what happens so it will be uh, more like you are playing the game but since I want us to move in the same direction, we'll have the screen play the game for us and then we'll discuss as we continue. But I would like to remind you on what is Swazi Yolo before we continue to play the game. And uh, uh, this is the, they call it table of contents, it sort of shows what's inside Swazi Yolo. I, I put this, this picture. So, uh, I want to remind you of why we did this in the first place. It was not just us riding in the wave of serious games. Uh, on, in, earlier on, we, 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 we conducted this study uh, among Facebook users in Swaziland. Uh, it was a mixed method study made of a qualitative part and a quantitative part. So we were able to publish the, the quantitative part but the qualitative part revealed something very important to us. Um, the users were saying, uh, uh, we are experiencing information fatigue. They told us that they were tired of hearing about HIV. Because everywhere they went, there was something about HIV. If they open the radio, within a short time you'll hear someone saying, use a condom and be safe, or something like that. So they were saying, look, we are tired of this. Uh, we are living in the digital age, we are used to Facebook, you can see a comment, but more than just that, you can comment on the comment. You can like it, you can share it, you can say something against it, so we want something that will uh, engage us. So this is why we, we, we really uh, moved towards developing a serious game. And uh, I hope uh, this part I will hide from the, the, the monitor, I'll hide from the recording. But before we started, we really took some time to segment our population. So the game is built of characters based on this profile of uh, what we saw both on our research and what is happening in Swaziland. So it, we didn't just think out loud on what to do. So. Uh, for gender, we've got two females and uh, two males. So the first female is, is, is a young lady uh, who's HIV negative. Uh, he lives in Swaziland, in, in a capital city. 
and uh, um, she is uh, kind of educated. She has a, a, a tertiary education, and she's outgoing. She likes trendy things, uh, such as tech, and uh, very active on social media. And then uh, the user goal for this uh, uh, character is to expand on her HIV knowledge, giving her plat platforms where her values can be reinforced. Well, she's already HIV negative and she's outgoing, so we want to enforce the values that she already has about HIV to keep her continuing on protection. We have another male, uh, younger male, uh, 18 years old, lives in another location of Swaziland, but still in Swaziland. Uh, uh, her education, he just completed high school. He's not sure where to go next, but he likes uh, 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 to play music. So key attribute is uh, he's very strong-minded. He has Christian values. Uh, uh, more people in Swaziland are Christian. Um, very uh, active on social media as well and enjoys the dating scene. The user goal for a character like him is uh, uh, educate him about how to practice safe sex, safe sex and where uh, to get uh, tested and actually spell out the testing procedure to him. So another one who's a female, a little bit older from another area of Swaziland, um, this one didn't really finish high school. Um, she's a bit shy, very strong religious uh, 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 values and Christian values, uh, not active on social media at all. Uh, we want her to learn how to live with HIV and support uh, groups and empower her to, to actually be able to interact about her own status. She is HIV positive. And then we have got another female, uh, he's in university, another male in university, uh, third year. Uh, he's married, uh, he, he's open about uh, polygamy, which is a practice very common in Swaziland, where a man can have more than one wife. He's open about it, so we try to address this part, although very sensitive in my, my culture, because as you know, uh, the head of state, the king, his majesty in Swaziland has got more than one wives, more than ten wives for that matter. So a polygamy is a cultural uh, uh, activity, it's a cultural phenomenon that we respect a lot as Swazis. So we try to uh, address this issue in the, in, the, in the game. So we're going to debug some myths that they have about HIV, uh, uh, dirty or not dirty. You know, in Swaziland people think, not, not in Swaziland, but generally people may feel that because you're HIV, then you are dirty. And if you don't have HIV, then you are clean. So we try in the game to really make people be aware that it's not a matter of dirty or not. So this is the, the segmentation of our population in the, in the game. So how people can access the game? Very easy. Uh, in just a few clicks, you can have access to the game. They just go to our website. If you click Get Game, you have a screen, you can either access it online or go to a shop near you uh, or, or get it from Google Play Store. And then before you can continue the game, you are screened for eligibility. So we've got a few questions that actually uh, screen people whether or not they're eligible to take part in the game. Basically, we look at age because our age is 18 to, uh, to 29 years old. So. Um, if you are not eligible, we've got a nice message that tells you that, okay, you're not eligible for the survey, but you can still download the game. Later on, you can play the game when the research phase of the game is over. So we don't leave you apart. And this part here is the survey that we use to evaluate the game. So the evaluation is not build it, built inside the game. People actually have to go out of the game to take the survey, which is a bit tricky, but we try to incentivize people to actually do it by making it easy to reach um, this, this page of the game. So we'll use a lot of uh, WhatsApp. Uh, when people register, they'll give us their number, so we'll follow people through WhatsApp, and they can also share the survey uh, 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 questionnaire amongst only eligible people to take part in the survey. So that's it. 
And then uh, last time I showed you this uh, few slides and I just want to remind you before we, we sit down and look at the, the game itself that um, you know there are basically uh, three parts of the game. The first one is online charts. So the player charts with a character in the game. Uh, it is story intense. So um, we tried to reach a balance here because we didn't want the game to be too much education. Like I, I told you before that when I went to one of the conferences, I could tell that the person who designed this game is a health uh, uh, oriented person or the person who designed this particular game is a, 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 a programmer uh, based person because of the of how the game played so in this game we tried to reach the balance so the game is is uh, uh, inter interactive story based more than it is education or we try to find a balance so when you read through the text you cannot obviously pick that ah this is the education part because we want to immerse the player in the story so they actually follow a story through without without having hiv being pushed in their face so this is the uh, online chart of the game and then the second part of the game is that players who chat in the game decide to meet uh, in a virtual environment a place called meetups these are made up of uh, uh, different clubs lounges in swaziland or cafes in swaziland we made up names but basically what happens in those places we try to uh, uh, represent in the game. So it puts the player in, looking in the role of young adult looking for love. In Swaziland they meet players, they decide if they like them or not, then they, they advance the story. And then there's part about feedback. So the, the feedback is in, in very bits and pieces of the game. Not, not too much, not too little, but we think it would be enough to induce the kind of uh, change we, we, we expect from the players. So um, a more direct feedback is when the doctor answers a question to someone who, who came to the clinic. Uh, they, they address issues of where to get tested, how the test is done, how long it takes um, the test because some people feel that it's it's painful to get your blood drawn and they need like uh, 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 a lot of meals to, to test but he addresses this kind she addresses this kind of uh, uh, questions and we try to make a health worker not such not so fearful so we try to make the the health worker in the game the medical practitioner in the game also a social being so she also takes part in the social scenes of the game so we try to try to uh, remove the, the wall between the health professional and people and then we also try to enforce things like confidentiality that even though the person will go to meet with you in in a lounge or interact with you in a social area they remain uh, upholding the principle of uh, uh, confidentiality okay Ah, there's another part of the game. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, um, a networking site, so players can 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 see someone's comment uh, in the newsfeed part of the game. But I won't show that too much today. Okay, so the love interests or connections look like this, and then you can explore someone's character. But we we'll, we'll look at it in detail. Uh, I already mentioned that uh, we, we based most of this on our, on our previous paper. So these are some of the scenes in the game. So they, they, they progress from chatting online to choosing a place where they want to meet physically. Well, physically, still in the game. Uh, so during meetups, many things can happen. You, you can choose, you can decide to choose actions that will either increase your risk of HIV or uh, sort of mitigate your risk of getting HIV. You'll also have an opportunity to sympathize with some of the characters in the game. So mm, our game is very text, te text intense, but we tried to improve 
the aesthetics by making very nice sound related to each scene. So each scene has got its specific sound based on what happens there, like in a club or in a romantic environment, different uh, sound clips made especially for the game. And then also um, we made like uh, characters that people can, you know, uh, identify with. They're not so strange, but of course, if you show uh, someone in Japan this, they, they, they cannot imagine what this person looks like. But if you show a source as this, they probably know someone who looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> so we try to make the, the, the person look as much as possible with, you know, favorite characters or celebrities in Swaziland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. So there are this this point system systems in the game. There's the YOLO points and uh, this is called uh, intimacy points. We, we change this to intimacy points. Um, you know, unlike other games where the point system is central to the game, we, we made the, the point system not so intrusive. So you are not going to see this throughout the game. Mm -hmm. You know, this just, uh, you know, just gives you a feel of what's happening, but doesn't really, it's not really meant to evaluate you. You've got high points, you've got low points. Because actually the, the, the point of the game is to reach a balance than scoring high. So for example, the, the point system starts at 50, not at zero. And then this one starts at 70, not at 100 or at, at, at zero, the trust points. So it's a different way of thinking about point system that we, we felt was really uh, uh, necessary for this game. So, like I mentioned, it's balancing the two sets of points. And this is the, the, the doctor who you can find at the clinic, but also in other uh, places like the Yolo Lounge. So she, she, also, she likes to go to that place. So um, you don't only get feedback from a medical person, you also get feedback to respectable people in society, like the owner of this lounge. He's very active on, on HIV or health related issues. So we try to make uh, discussing HIV not only with health professionals, but a, a really social phenomenon that people need to engage in on a daily basis. Okay. So uh, hmm. next, I'd like to sh actually show you the game. I've spoken a lot about the game. And actually, I'm very pleased we received uh, our accepted paper. Uh, it's nice to see it on general format. <laughs> so very, very happy about that. It's, it's actually the protocol. Yeah, they, they actually allow us to publish the protocol of the, of the game. Uh, we published it to, you know, um, gain feedback from experts in serious games. Yes, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> So we, we wanted to see what experts thought about our game through exposing our protocol to a peer review process. You know, it's easy to sit here and just think you're doing something great by yourself. But if you expose it to someone, then they're quick to point out some loopholes that you can address before the game actually starts. So that was great. And we're happy that uh, it was accepted for publication. Okay, so... Now what's left is to actually see the game. I'm nervous about this part because it's the first time I've <laughs> actually showed you this, this game. Okay, so um, what I wanted to show you is that now she, 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 uh, the player goes to a clinic for some reason, then she speaks to the doctor. Then the doctor tells her a story about controlling the music. So she's, she's, the doctor says, imagine you're in a room. So okay, the question was that, uh, how do you become safe? Mm. So, but what if you trust the person that you're having sex with? Mm. It's okay, right? So the, doc the doctor narrates a story where you're in a full house, a party, and then you want to change the, a song playing on 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 the on the on the ra on the radio or uh, on the speakers, 
but it's too far for you. So you have two choices. One choice is to stand up and go and change it yourself. Another choice is to tell a friend, please change the song and play this song. Because your friend is also far, she has to tell her, and she has to tell him, and he has to tell another person. So the doctor says that um, trusting anyone is not being in control of the music. So because you don't know the final song will be correct or not. You don't know. Because it's not about the person you trust, it's about the other people that she trusts to tell the story. So she says that um, giving, giving other people your trust and having sex with them without a condom is like giving people the, the song and trusting that they'll play the right music. The best way to do is to stand up, trust yourself, protect yourself, stand up by yourself and go and change the music. So it's one of the highs of the game. So I'm sorry you didn't say that. Somehow it got lost. <laughs>